a common challenge we hear when we are connecting to HR information from the HR department is that the HR department is somehow disconnected from the information of an employee once the employee data has been provided to the um, identity and access management solution. The challenge the HR department has is getting communication data back from the identity and access management or from the IT about an employee. So when an email address or phone number has been assigned to an employee, this information needs to find its way back to the HR department. In case of success factors, this information is being written back directly through the connector into Connect for Cloud and is being pushed from Connect to Cloud into success factors. As you can see, this is uh, the mapping that writes back the default email address from the employee object to Connect to Cloud and then to success factors. <clears throat> In case of SAP HR, no direct communication back to SAP HR is allowed for the most parts of the employee record. There is one record, however, one info type that we may write back into SAP HR. And this is the info type 105, which is communication data. And for this info type only, our connector is capable of writing back information like phone numbers, email addresses, fax numbers, etc. This is the information that is being synchronized back to HR. As you can see in the mapping, this is the SH person com data database table in the one identity manager database that is being written back into a to HR person 105 um, schema object type, which is the info type 105 in SAP HR. When we are synchronizing HR information from SAP HR, SAP HR also has so-called structured profiles, which are an additional layer of authorizations in the HR module. This information can be synchronized from SAP HR into One Identity Manager and can be assigned to user accounts that are going to use HR module transactions and programs to maintain HR information. So to retrieve this information from SAP HR, we are again using the SAP connector for One Identity Manager, and we are using a different project type in this case. In this case, the project type, it will be synchronizing profiles and authorizations for HR. This is the project information, as you can see on the screen. And when we look into the mappings, that are available, we see users in profile and profile. So when we look into the profile mapping, you can see that the profile mapping on the right-hand side represents the H information as in SAP HR, and on the left-hand side, we can see the Identity Manager database table that holds that information in the Identity Manager database. The representation of these profiles can be seen in One Identity Manager's Manager tool under the SAP module and as structural profiles. As you can see, a list of structural profiles has been synchronized from SAP. And when I look into the structural profile all, we can see that a user account has been assigned to this structural profile. Additional users can be assigned to this structural profile by clicking on the task um, assign user accounts and then we can select the user account, give a validity start date and a validity end date, and then the user account will have that structure profile, giving him the permission to operate in the SAP HR module and to see specific objects or specific trees. <laughs>